Why would you Terra there? I'm gonna do a lot. You see how much Make It Rain just did? I know he's regretting life right now. What is going on, folks? We're back here today on Showdown. Now, today, I'm using a team that I got pretty high with on the ladder, actually. Now, this team originally had a Glade over Iron Valley, but then I had a, a third eye vision to simply make Glade the more powerful version. And now that there's an Iron Valiant, this team is powerful. Got to 1900 with it. We got AV Tyranitar. This set is beast. It's gonna be able to wall this stupid ass Volcarona amongst other things uh, on their side. But I actually beat this guy yesterday with Specs Moth. I turned into a grass type and I killed the Dondozo at the end, but my Moth killed everything. I think it's gonna happen again, uh, even with a Claude. I have to watch out, not really for too much. I would say I uh, just go into my hat with a u-turn goes for the double okay that's fine I can nuzzle here unless this wants to poison jab okay cool um I'm just gonna call mind as it gets paralyzed call mind again now we're getting plus a thousand really ain't shit to be said dozo comes in here paralyze that joint real quick whoa that did a lot let's see how much journey kiss does that does a lot though I'm not gonna lie I might be able to I might be able to smoke the dozo. Hold on. Oh, never mind. That dozo smoke in my pack. Hold on. That shit is actually very annoying. Um I mean I can't really have a free switch into it. Yeah, so let me go into my core V. Leftovers is gonna be a frustration for sure. Go into Quaquavel. Um a taunt real quick. Make it peepee -pee stall itself a little bit. You know the vibes because otherwise this thing is gonna be a threat like this is a threat no matter what wave crash body press is actually very good into my team when i played this dude yesterday i actually ended up sacking my quaquavel to get rid of all the pp on his side because it was just too much sauce on the other side paralyzes my joint about expected we're just gonna go for a rock blast here we'll see what happens um it's pretty free though draining kiss does about like 19 i think Maybe it is less. Might be like 15. I don't really know. I have 717 spadef. I feel like that shit does negative damage. Alright, I did 12. Okay, cool. I missed my rock blast, which is just regular mons. Don't worry about that. A little bit frustrating, because I did want to keep this in range of dying to Iron Valiant Spirit Break later. So, I gotta keep that in mind. I get 5 hits though on the dozo, which will definitely take. That's like a good thing. A Brave Bird here. As he gets down to 67%. Keeps pulling attacks, which is great. Um, I'm just going to roost. As he goes for rest again. Brave bird. Okay. This shit is annoying. But only has so many sleep talks left as well. You know? Alright. Dude realizes to not waste shit like that. Alright, cool. I bring a hat. I'm just gonna go for a draining kiss and get it all back. This thing is gonna rest here probably. Yup, goes for rest. I can psychic into Claude. It does 54, which is a shit ton of damage. We're gonna see a Corv or a Terra here. One of the two is gonna happen here. Corv or Terra. So we're gonna get HP back with Hatterene. Um, let's see. Corv comes in here. Yup. <laughs> I don't know if this is the best play, but. I want to kind of bait in the Iron Moth so I can just Terra and smoke this, you know? I feel like that might be worth it, but T-Tar is also pretty worth it. Yeah, see? He was trying to bait the Terra. That could have been really bad. Um, I'm going to go to Corviknight here on U-Turn, make this thing take a little chip as Clawdzire comes out. I just Brave Bird Clawdzire like a lot. I'm trying to get rid of them recovers, you know? That was good for me. I steal two recovers there. In comes Torkoal. Big ass threat. This is an interesting team. Everything is so defensively inclined on this build. I go Tar here on Lava Plume. Obviously, I don't want to risk the potential body press. So we're going to go into Hatterene as Corviknight comes back out. Okay. This is going to be a slow death for the opponent. Hopefully. A U turn out. I bring in hat on Stealth Rock. Oh, Lava Plume comes out. Good play by the opponent. Good play by the opponent. I really didn't want rocks to go up. I bring in this guy though. This is fine. This thing can do some work now by fiery dancing here. It's pretty free. Um 
bro will have to go for Ra uh, Yawn, I think, to get out of here, like positively. Psychic looks pretty free for me too, though. All things considered, I don't want a Psychic though. I want a Fiery Dance. I got the Sun up. What would I do if I'm them? I wouldn't go Corv. I'd go into one of the other three or stay. Yeah. Rocks goes up. I don't get a boost, which is mad annoying, but tries to sack Claude here, which is great for me. Goes into Iron Moth. Finally, I get a fucking boost after a thousand no boosts. Shit was whack. I'm turning Grass type here in case he wins the speed tie. Knew he'd win the speed tie, which is why I turned Grass. I'm really, I'm really outside. I'm really outside, bro. Let me tell you something. I'm really outside. Yeah, I knew that bullshit was coming. I knew that speed tie win was coming. But I needed to kill the moth. If I kill the moth, then I can win with a lot of other things. I just gotta be a little patient. And my banded Valiant in the back is a big ass threat. Because I'm gonna knock this thing's leftovers off. I'm gonna knock Hatterene's leftovers off. I'm just playing kind of patient uh, with that thing. Goes for wave crash. Does absolutely nothing. Um, Claude's Zyra comes in. Okay. I'm going to U-turn out. I'm going to bring in my Valiant. I'm banded, so I think Zen is going to KO this. Oh, it doesn't KO, but he does that shit. Okay. I just go back in a Corv and I defog these away now. Not a big issue at all. Oh, recovers. All right, fine, fine, fine. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. Goes into Hatterene here. I'm not too worried about Hat. I still have my Tyranitar. Goes for Calm Mind there, which is fine. This is kind of a threat, I guess. With Draining Kiss, it's a bit of a threat, but it's not the end of the world, I'd say. I still do have my Moth and all the other shit, all things considered. Um, I can just Brave Bird here and then kill this afterwards. I want to keep Hatterene weak. This shit is a big ass threat. Goes for Nuzzle there, gets me low. Um, draining Kiss is there, knocks me out. I'm pretty sure Val comes in here and just knocks this out with banded knock i'm 538 pretty sure this ko's dude like i don't see how this wouldn't ko you'd have to be so bad to not ko this holy shit that did a lot we do 43 he's fully spadef on the core of it looks like i go for a little fishy action there go for another one there because you know what let me get some luck in this yeah easy money goes to dozo it's super packed now uh now that you brought in dozo and you lost the leftovers i think it's cooked for him uh I should be able to win by close combating everybody very soon. Dozo is annoying though. I gotta admit, this thing is always really annoying. Um, <clears throat> does that. I go into Tar here. It covers the double into... Uh, oh, not Claude. Claude is cheap. Claude is cheap for sure. Uh, I go Quavo here. I don't think he's gonna go for rocks. But if he goes for rocks, I lose. So I gotta think about this actually. Actually, I don't lose. Yeah, he goes for EQ there, which is completely fine. I go to hat. Hat covers rocks. Yup, figured. Figured, figured, figured. Figured that greedy ass rocks was coming. Yup, I get the side shock off. Now he's thoroughly, thoroughly cooked. You're thoroughly cooked, brother. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to beat you in style. With that, sp I'm going to break your spirit. Bow, bow, bow. This is a fire team, I'm telling you. This is a fire team. I'm actually curious as to how much this does to Dozo. If I had to guess, I would say that it does about 26 to 27%. Anyway, he's gonna rest here. Yeah, get good. Energy ball sweeps, everybody dies. Even if this Terra's into like the greatest of great mons, I'm still goobing you. Goes into Torkoal, sacks it. There is no Terra that can save him. I am unfortunately the Specs Grass Moth. Damn. I got you again, Lil Bro. Give me your points. Damn, 1919? I'm sorry to have gate kept you from the 1900s. This team, it puts in the work, though. Leave a like. Leave a like for the Gallade Coquevo team. This, thing, this is a fun team. Assault Vest Tyranitar definitely did its job. That's the type of Pokemon that always uh, puts in big work. Banded Iron Valiant is something I'm trying out. Shout out to Blimax. I saw him use this like three months ago on this Belly Bolt team. And then I had the idea to run it because I didn't want to run Specs because I already have a Specs Moth. Booster energy is pretty solid, but I was like, fuck it, let's just run Cork Drive. Uh, not Cork Drive, sorry, Choice Band. I said Cork Drive because I saw he has a corked up team. Three abusers uh, and Electric Seed, so I guess four abusers to be completely honest. Um, I'm going to lead off with Valiant. Uh, he's probably going to lead off with... I don't know. I don't know, honestly. 
Um, I have Iron Moth too, though. I have two Cork. Oh, getting packed up by this Cork, this Cork shit. Sorry to say, but Cork the fuck out of you. Blunder, yo. What up, boy? All right, leads off with Shreds. Gets the speed boost. Reads my life. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty ass for that. Gets up rocks. I'm just defogging these shits away though. Um, as Pinka Churchin comes in, but the Cork is gone, so I think we're good. Uh, I bring in Hatterene on spikes as Discharge comes out instead, which is completely fine. I can go into Moth here as Treads comes back in. I'm Specs, so I can kill Treads. Sorry to use this booster energy. Uh, I don't really have to worry about anything with that. Alright, so Treads goes down. No boost, because you gotta remember. <clears throat> when we use Fiery Dance, that move is just shit. It is just shit. Uh, I get out of there. I bring in Hat here. It's gonna cover Spikes, and it's gonna cover Great Tusk. As Great Tusk does come in, I'm gonna go for Draining Kiss. That's definitely the best play. Uh, they don't really have a Psychic switching whatsoever anyway. And when I live this, I wanna... Please don't be a Jack Button. No! Brings in Pinka Churchin again, which takes that shit like it's nothing. Fuck, Pinka Churchin's annoying. Goes for Discharge again, which is fine. I mean, I would say that I, I kinda came up because only has a couple turns left. And my Corviknight still walls three, I would assume. This is a this is a nasty team though. I like that team. I like that team for sure. I like that team. Anything with double nose is like a is like is a plus in my book. I'm not sacking guy for nothing. I go into Tar. Unfortunately, his Iron Moth is also ass and is not able to uh, break out. Gets a plus one defense as I Rock Blast here for some chip. That shit does a little bit, but not really a lot of bit. Just a little bit. Cause that shit is really bad. Uh, I think I would just go into Corv. I mean, I could have turned into, I could have Ice Beamed there. We're going to find out now if I should have, and this is Terra Electric, but we're going to see. Uh, if this is Terra Electric, then I should have Ice Beamed, but I didn't want to get parried on SD and lose. All right, fortunately, he doesn't Terra Electric or nothing like that. We just knock it out with a safe Brave Bird. I got really scared because whenever I run an SD Pokemon, I always think just run Terra, uh, what's it called? Electric. Because you want to get past the uh, physical mons, you know? Anyways, Iron Moth is in here. Um, I mean, technically Valiant and Zen Headbutting over and over and over again is the right play. So I'm going to do that. But I'm going to actually look up and see if Close Combat kills this. I'm actually curious. I, I feel like Iron Valiant is such a strong Pokemon that if you were to give it a choice band, it, it would absolutely just one hit KO. Uh... Volcarona at 75. Let me see. Iron Moth. What is this thing? Oh, you CC to 73 to 86%. That is different, but we're just going to hit Zen. Okay, good. Zen is better anyway. We don't want to be locked into CC against Iron Val. That would be dumb. Um, give it the ability to Calm Mind and Reverse Sweep us. Actually, we need Focus Blast because it's not going to be able to kill uh, Tyranitar. In comes Tusk. Okay, understandable. Um... I believe I would just go for the Zen every time because I don't want him to spin. Goes for spin though, expected. Um, headlong Rush would kill me, so we will just sack Corv here. Yeah, that's fine. Goes for Headlong Rush, that's fine. It's gonna CC here, and then I'm gonna go into the big stepper afterwards and probably, probably be good from there. Um, because the big stepper lives no matter what so i should be fine with re in regards to that the big stepper got it unless the valiant is like booster then i'm good oh unless this kills then i'm fucked oh my god coquaval is a god coquaval is a literal legend coquaval is a literal legend what the fuck Coquaval is a legend. All right, it turns out to be Life Orb, so this could be close regardless. Um, if this is able to kill my Moth uh, with a move, which I doubt it can. Um, I doubt this shit can kill me. Unless he goes for CC as I Terra on some God shit, and it's Life Orb CC, but I think it would be Psy Shock or Life Orb CM, if anything. I mean, it could be, it's probably Thunderbolt, uh, Moonblast, right? You gotta have Thunderbolt, because you wanna beat Corv. 
I don't think you'd have Psy Shock in the back. I don't think you'd have that. Either way, I'm going for Terra Grass Energy Ball. All right, yeah, I figured. Okay, yeah. Oh, Psy Shock did do 53. I made the right play then. All right, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Whew. That was almost spicy when he, he had the double no score. The double no score was putting in work. I'm not going to lie. All right, we got a Sun Team. Strong, strong. Sandy Shocks. Fortunately, I got Tyranitar on deck. And Tyranitar was made to expose a lot of these fraudulent mons. So just keep that in mind. I lead off with Mathematics. It's going to lead off with Wake or something like that. Shocks leads off. It's not Scarf Shocks. Impossible. So we're going to go for Energy Ball, turn one, and Goobit. I'm Specs. So I was always going to go for that. In comes Walking Mid. You feel me? I'm going to fucking figure this out. I go into Tar. I should do 22.3. Psst ass i'm ice beam here into the great tusk do big damage it's over for walking wake shit got exposed like to, shit got exposed like anything um i'm gonna rock blast here as it goes back into walking wake figured well now i'm fucked because this thing got a special attack boost but i did get three hits which is pretty nice i'm thinking coquavo might have to go uh i think that's the mon that is just not really doing the work i need you know with all due respect I think that might be the mon to go. It did 22.3. Is that Specs? Or is that Scarf? Hmm. We're about to find out. All right. It turns out this walking fraud is actually Scarfed. So I'm actually like not a, not like really threatened by this. Well, whatever it is, it's not really a threat to us. This is my point. Oh, I'm shit. I thought about going back to Tyranitar, but I was like, real, real bosses never go back to Tyranitar. Why did I want to be a real boss? No. Anyways, I spirit break his bitch ass here and knock it out. In comes Brute Bonnet. He want to turn into a fire type so bad. You want to catch a body so bad, right? All right. I go into Tyranitar here because I'm not playing with that. Uh, Bullet Seed would do a lot to me. Let's be clear. But I'm going to predict that. Oh, five hits? Mm, do I live, sucker? Probably not. Maybe, though. I'm sludge waving. Fuck it. Agency. I shit did a lot. No lie. Um, I just go into Iron Valley in here on Sucker Punch because I'm in your head. Like, my name is Fred. A spirit break here goes for this uh, thingy. Torkoal comes in. I hate this threat. Brings in Great Tusk. Oh, what? You trying to. Yo, you're defensive though. This game is mine. Another one. 1977. That's the year I was born, by the way, as you all know. I, uh, I recently just turned uh, 46. But, wow. Another points stolen from the top of the... It's too easy. This team is so nasty, I'm telling you. The Big Stepper paired with the Gallade. Not the Gallade, sorry. The Iron Valiant. Once we, once I turned Gallade into the Band Valiant, it was over. And AVT Tar as well. This is an agency classic. This is what I like to call my team. Because CTC made it, but then I changed one Pokemon. And thus, pfft, team is crazy. I still don't know if Banded Valiant is the way to go, but I like it for now. All right. This is a, this is a nice team. This is a nice team. Every time I run into a Meowth Skirada, I gotta think twice. Because, I mean, it's a big ass threat, right? I lead off a Corv as Meow does just lead off. Uh, Meow knocks off immediately and dies to U turn. I think that's great for me. I, I think that's honestly like an ideal situation. Because I didn't want spikes going up at all versus me. I have a team of a bunch of grounded Pokemon. And I don't think anybody's even boots on this team, right? That is the greediest team of all time. There's no boots. Which is kind of why I like it, because a lot of times boots, if the hazards don't go up against me and they don't feel pressing, it feels like a waste of an item. I love having leftovers and shit like that on everything. Like I, I Iron Moth, I don't even like running booster energy. Specs, specs, specs only. That's for the bosses. The bosses run specs Iron Moth. Everybody knows the bosses run specs Iron Moth. Anyways, I think I've made my point clear. Um, I don't want to bring in anything that lets Tusk in for free, so Iron Moth is probably the best bet. All right, let's see. The Garg is probably the Rocker. And then Tusk is maybe Bulk Up. That's what I've kind of seen on these types of builds in the past. But I don't want to assume yet. We'll know for sure when the Tusk comes out. If the Tusk is like Lefties, it's probably Bulk Up. Garg. But he could be Curse Garg and Rocks Tusk. I don't really like Rocks Tusk like that, though. Goes into Pex. Cool. I just go Hat on Surf. Perfect. 
all right i can't nuzzle golden go which is why i go back into this as garganical comes out instead oh i hate this guy should i tear on goob this shit is a big ass threat i'm cooking it don't protect no he protected uh, all right whatever this does a lot this literally does half Look at that damage. Demoglios is crazy, I know. I'm going to hat here on recover. Facto. Back to Iron Moth. Oh, no. All right. You think you're nice? You think you're bad now? All right. Let me side shock here. Goes in the guard. Oh, I'm getting fucked up. All right. Let me go into Iron Valley in here. A Salk here comes out. Let me go into Iron Moth on a Protect. Or a Golden Go switch. Yo, I'm getting cooked. I'm not going to lie. It's got some annoying ass uh, techniques on deck. Iron Moth. I need to drop the Toxapex. Turns into a Fairy type. I don't think that was the right play. Okay, I crit him, which is obviously lucky as fuck. But also, like, what the fuck? Why would you Terra there? I'm gonna do a lot. You see how much Make It Ranges did? I know he's regretting life right now. Can I just Ice Beam a Tusk for once? Like, I feel like it never happens. I guess it's really not gonna happen, though. Alright, we're gonna catch somebody. Uh-oh, that was a bad play by me. Let me Psychic here. Oh my god, big throws, big throws incoming. Big throws incoming. This is kind of crazy. Hold on, hold on. This is this, this some big throws. This is some big ass throws. Uh, I just taunt here though. And we should be good. That was Those were some big ass throws. I'm not going to hold you. That was some next level throws. I think I, I, think I saved myself though. Whew, almost went out sad. Phew. It's over now for him though. Quavo is strong. Quavo is ready. Quavo is inside. I don't really see. I don't really see anything that they can do, right? Because switching around, but I, I think I killed us at plus two. Yeah. Now I'm plus three. This is a funny cheese, man. This is this is why I like this team because everybody shows their worth on this team. This is a, this is a shiesty live so far. Putting up big wins. Triple dragon. Oh, you want that smoke? I understand that. That was a lucky game. I'm not gonna lie. When I crit his Garg, I robbed him of getting Stealth Rock up. Probably. Because he had Protect, so he was definitely Stealth Rock. Yeah, I got lucky that game. But hey, we're continuing our, our win streak. We're on the way to 1900. I told you, I, got, I took my old alt on... Uh, not old alt. It was the, the Ro Jogan alt. I took the 1900. Or no, it was the Yakuza alt. But now, we gotta take the Fallopin alt up there. We gotta have all the team up there. And then we're taking the team to 2000s. Then we're taking the team to 3000s, as a matter of fact. Alright? Keep it a buck. Alright, nasty team, though. Um, I don't want to get smoked by dragapult that's like the big threat i haven't even played any dragapults it looks like today which is extremely lucky because that shit is cheap as we all know my band valiant might be good i have to catch the right turn though um all right let's see here what do i want to lead with something good into stupid ass uh i want to lead something good into garchomp which is probably probably valiant turning into a fairy that's probably like the best thing that i could do right if I let off with that, then he's going to get cooked for sure. Gambit is a big threat, so I do want to keep Valiant healthy. Quavo turning water type is pretty solid as well, though. It's probably the power boost I'll need to muscle through a lot of this shit. Hmm. I'm leaning off of Val as Dirge leads off. Bad lead, bad lead, bad lead. I'm ass. All right, let's see. I go into Moth, though. Actually, yeah, I go into Moth. This goes for Wisp turn 1, which is completely fine. I'm just going to go for Sludge Wave. That's what CTC told me to do. He said just cheese with Sludge Wave versus Skeledurge. I said, okay, I will. Goes into Garchomp, which is mad annoying. Uh, we'll just go for Corv here, because he's obviously going to go for uh, Hazards, most likely. Yeah. We'll go to Hat here. We'll see if he wants to EQ again or not. Or maybe he wants to make an offensive play. Brings in Skeledurge. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna nuzzle here, because I think Torch Song will come out. Yeah, I figured some greedy Torch Song nonsense would happen, as opposed to Shadow Ball. And Shadow Ball would have been tough for me, if he Shadow Balled. But I was gonna take the pair on Skeledurge any day, because this shit puts me in a position to win. I Ice Beam here pretty easily. Uh, goes into King Gambit, which is a good play, but I freeze the shit, which is funny! Uh, let's low kick here. Oh, you think you're nice. You think you really get to it, bro? You think you really get to it you think you think you're outplaying my tar but dude you need to understand i just did brazy hacks on you like you you need a few seconds to recover i'll give you a few seconds to cool off in fact all right anyways this guy's kind of nice it's kind of nice i'm not gonna lie um i'm thinking i want to 
going to Corv. This is like a this is a threat if it bulks up. But it's it took way too much from low kick. Like way too much. I have no investment. This is fucking yeah, this is some offensive god tusk. I'm not dealing with this shit. I'm brave burning it up. He knocks me off there, which is a horrible trade for him. Um ends up losing all of his HP. Goes into Garchomp here. Okay. Uh I just Brave Bird. The dragon tails me there, which is funny. Uh, he probably wants to go for rocks, but they're not going to go up. Um, I mean, I could go for hat here, but it's fine. Yeah, in comes Pult. He wants to burn very badly, I think. Uh, I'm going to Brave Bird here, and then he's going to go for a Wisp here as I go into hat. He's going to bounce back, and he's going to Rage Quit. All right, I, this is Rage Quit for him too, though, to be honest. I go into Corv here on uh, Earthquake. I don't want to take any damage from that. Goes into Skeledurge. It does have Wisp. We got to be careful of that. But I also have a Moth. So I'm not too worried about anything Dirge can do. You know? Tar comes in here on a Paralysis. Lucky for sure. But you know what? The streets said that we're getting that we're getting this money. And so we got this money. That's all I can really say. Go back into Corv here on a Stealth Rock. Ooh. Aggressive play. Goes into Hydreigon. Ooh. You think you're nice? You think you're bad now? Oh, you turn out here. Oh, what? Nasty plot. Oh, you're nasty. You like that? I said he was nasty because he's nasty. I CC here, dude. I'm not letting you turn into... Yeah, look at this. Look at this shit. Okay, first of all, they all turn into steel types. But why would you turn into a steel type versus me, bro? Like, what the fuck are you doing? Hmm. Well, a little interesting. All right, let me think about this. I don't want to throw versus the potential Skeletor. The Dragapult is a big threat. He did waste his Terra, which is fucking massive. Hat is big. Don't want to sack Hat. It beats... Uh... Actually, Hat is definitely the most useless of everybody left. Hat is probably the most important one to Terra as well. Right? I'm going to go into Hat. This sub is happening. Let me Draining Kiss here. Let me just see if it's uh, Dragon Dance or if it's... Hex. Okay, so it's Dragon Dance, which is like fucking cheap. I hate this thing. This is cheap. This is going to destroy me if I don't get the play right. And there is no play to get right, I think. I think I'm just fucked. Um, let me turn the water type. Goes for Phantom Force there. Okay, cool. Oh, I can get it all back here. You can't Terra like to save yourself here. That's not how it works. Cool. Okay, I think I, I, think I actually got out of here really well. This was going to fucking destroy me. Um, if it turned in, wait, wait, he can't Terra. What am I doing? What is wrong with me? He can't Terra. He can't. I just told everybody. I told the whole world. He can't Terra. Whatever. Six zero smashed. All right. <laughs> this is next level. This is next level self sabotage. This is next level self sabotage. This is the best team ever. Truly, this is like, this is a team that the the agency will not forget. All right, the Bandit Valiant hit squad. Yeah, we smoked everybody today. It looked like nobody could really come close. Um, but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Drop a big like if you did. We'll be back with more soon. And yeah, I'll be streaming later as well. So make sure you tap into that. And don't sleep. Don't sleep on these Pokemon, all right? The Band Valiant Quavo AV. Man, this team is gorgeous. See y'all soon. Peace.